peeps welcome back to a brand new episode i hope you're all doing well today is monday and i'm going to be doing some gopher deliveries today i've got my first couple of jobs in picking up from screw fix and i am against the clock this morning i've got two deliveries paying over seven pound and yeah i'm gonna pick up the first one now which is a very very close drop and yeah welcome back to a brand new episode i really really enjoy doing gopher deliveries because it's really fast paced it's a lot different to food deliveries and i just i just really really enjoy it and to not have to wait around in restaurants for orders to be prepared everything's really like fast and yeah i just i just enjoy it so um yeah we're gonna see how much money i can make today I'm gonna work a good five six hours today I'm gonna put a good shift in all right you're right i got a sprint pickup thank you very much have a good day see look how rapid that was in and out no messing about all right now that one's picked up and i'm dropping off to the customer which is only six minutes away and then i'm straight on to another screw fix pickup from a different screw fix location there's many screw fixes here in london if you don't know what screw fix is they sell everything to do with building materials and all that good stuff taking the thermal bag out of the box i've just got the thermal liner because uh i've used it i've used double-sided sticky tape on the back of the back of the bag to hold it so it doesn't slide so i can't take this out but we're not going to be delivering food today anyway so don't have to stress about that i've put on the uh famous duvet as <laughs> people like to call it because it is getting colder now we're into october down to nine degrees so this uh leg cover keeps me really warm keeps the wind off my legs love it oh try not to reverse into this van all right let's go god look at this guy what a way to get around the city eh hold up i'm confused it's telling me to go this way but i can't go this way because yeah i, I can't go this way because there's a camera right up there and you go through there 65 pound fine bosh but what i can do is go around this way simple as there you go just saved myself 65 pound i wasn't gonna work today i honestly wasn't gonna work because i have got a lot of stuff to do but i don't want to miss the opportunity to earn money and food deliveries are not that busy on a monday daytime so if you want to get out and earn money you got to work on apps like gopher let me just pull over here because i think i see another job coming in let's have a look is there another job new job for you uh i'm not gonna be able to do that because i've got to go and pick up the other one i have to head over to screw fix and bermondsey so it's very easy to make yourself late for jobs if you just keep accepting every job you got to make sure that you can get to the pickup point on time and obviously the most important thing get it delivered on time so let's get some good tunes going and get up to the first customer of this morning That's one, mate. Oh, f no, this is not working today. <laughs> Nothing works here. Have a good one, yeah? Cheers, mate. All right, that's that one done. Now let's head over to the next screw fix pickup, which is two miles away. Just out of curiosity, how often do you use the sprint? Uh, weekly. Weekly? Yeah. More than how many times a week, roughly, do you think? A couple times a week. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm trying to get my work to use it as well, because we're always ordering from CEF and it just takes forever, you know? I'm trying to get them to set up an account so we can just order stuff and have a good day mate yeah so i'm trying to get my uh full-time job for my employer to sign up to screw fix sprint because it's just so convenient like that tradesman just said that i don't know what he does but yeah it's just the, the convenience you know you don't have to go there and pay for parking and you can crack on with another job so yeah it's just really really convenient so hopefully <laughs> I can convince my uh, full-time job to do it because we're always ordering stuff from like CEF or any other places that we order from. But it's just little things that we need, you know, like fuses or lamps or I don't know, just stuff that we can just buy from the shop. It's the convenience over everything. All right, let's head over to the next pickup, which is 1.7 miles away. Let's go. Here we are then, screw fix. I haven't been to this one before. Our first time here. And I've just had another screw fix job come in. So if we have a look at the sequence, I'm gonna have to blur the addresses on here. But I've got a screw fix pickup, 
drop off and then I'm going back to the screw fix that I picked up from earlier, the first one. Because I don't know why I'm going to get my thermal bag. See what I mean? It's like muscle memory. Instantly go to pick up the thermal bag from the box. <laughs> don't need it. All right, arrived at location. Oh, there's another one. Another seven pound. Take that. Oh, uh, you're right. I've got a sprint pickup. Oh, there's something in there, yeah? Cheers, thank you. Oh, God. Bag looks so empty. Looks like there's nothing in there. We could do better with the packaging. I think, anyway. I don't know. The first drop off is 1.2 miles away. On a Monday, it's, I think it's the busiest. Mondays and Fridays, because everyone just wants stuff to get done, you know? Start of the week. Builders have got new jobs that have just started. So obviously, got to get started with the jobs ASAP. I feel like I'm making a difference, you know? I'm helping builders. Well, obviously I'm working, but you know what I mean? It, it, I get a good uh, sense of satisfaction. Go on, mate, go on, go on. That turning circle was wild. Let's get up to this customer. 0.9 miles away. Oh my God, I wish I never let this rubbish lorry out. Stinks. Oh, I've got to put my visor down. That is absolutely ponging. All right, at the next drop off, let's see and make sure that I'm on time for all of my jobs sequence. Yeah, so drop off, pick up, pick up, drop off, drop off. Nice. Should be the next building. Dum, 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 dum. Flipping out. Where the hell is this place? Even doing food deliveries to this building. I always get lost. I don't know where the hell to go. They've even made Jamaica Road a 20 mile an hour road. What a joke. Uh, mate, screw fix delivery. Fully wrapped up today. Got the thermal trousers on, the Alpine style trousers, the sector boots, a hoodie, and I've even got a thermal liner underneath this jacket. The only thing I don't have is a decent pair of winter gloves. I'm using the uh, Alpine style copper gloves just because they're so comfortable. But I need to try and figure out if I can get heated grips on the new. I don't know if it's possible. I might have to get one with like an external battery pack. Hello, mate. Cheers, have a good day. Pow. All right, that one's done. Now I'm heading over to my next pickup, which is the first screw fix that I went over to. So let's head over there now. Oh, and for those of you interested in my setup for motor vlogging and making these episodes, head over to my Instagram. I've made an Instagram reel showing you how to do this setup. And um, yeah, because a lot of you are interested what camera I use, what microphone I use and what I use to do these videos. So head over to my Instagram at London Eats 10 and you can see a full breakdown uh, of this setup. All right, back to the bike and back to Screwfix. Back at Screwfix. Got a massive deja vu just now. <laughs> Hello again. That's the last four digits, 6828. Thank you, cheers. All right, that one's picked up. Now, guess where I'm heading to? Another screw fix. <laughs> so normally, Gopher isn't like this. I don't just get screw fix orders. Normally I'm picking up clothing, not any old clothing, but like designer clothing. It could be jewelry, literally anything. Parcels, letters, contracts, all of that stuff. But today is a screw fix day. That's definitely gonna go everywhere, but I don't have to worry about spillages because it's not food. All right, this next pickup is 2.7 miles away. The app is saying that I'm gonna be late to one of my deliveries, but I'm hoping I can get there on time. Should be able to. Yeah, nine degrees, currently 10.18. So I've been working just over an hour now and all the jobs that I've accepted so far have been over seven pound. So I think I'm on about 28 pound for the hour, which is very, very good. All right, enough waffling. Let's get over to the next pickup. All right then, here we are. Back at the screw fix. God damn, use an indicator. Sprint pickup, yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. All right, lovely, lovely. That's the two picked up. Now we've got two drop-offs and I think I'm gonna make it. This first one's only eight minutes away. And when I say make it, it's because we've got deadlines. It's not like food delivery where you haven't got a deadline, but with this stuff you do. All right, just arriving to the next customer's location. Uh, I can't remember the house number. It's normally the ones with scaffolding outside. So I'm gonna assume it's here. Hiya. 
Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Take care. Right, over to the next one, which is six minutes away. Then I'm going to go get myself a coffee because... I'm yet to have any breakfast <laughs> and every time I work gopher and I don't eat when it gets to about three o'clock bloody shattered so yeah I'm gonna go grab myself a coffee after this obviously if a job comes in I'm just gonna take it and abort the coffee but let's go get this next one done be interesting to see what else comes in uh, I'm gonna do an earnings check as well because I've been working I think I started at 9 30 yeah it was about 9 30 so I've been working an hour and 10 minutes so I'll definitely do a balance check to see how much I've made I don't normally keep an eye on how much I've made when I'm doing gopher deliveries I sort of just work and see at the end of the day but i'll do a little check because i'm sure you're all interested to see how much i'm on so far all right mate. nice one have a good one so that's all of the jobs done let's see how much i'm on so far look at that 29 pound 56 pence in just over an hour could never do that with food delivery I mean, you could on the weekend, but on a Monday, no chance. As I said, I'm going to go grab a coffee and wait for the next jobs to come in. It is still very early and this job sort of, it dies down at about, I want to say about 2 p.m., 3 p.m. There isn't many jobs after that because people are finishing up for the day. All right, where can I get some good coffee? I need that good, good coffee. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go here. This looks like a nice cuff someone has conveniently spray painted the parking sign up there so you can't get any tickets lovely jubbly i just had my uh, coffee at this cafe and another job's come in from screw fix again <laughs> paying over seven pound i'm uh, i've got an hour to drop it off well collect and drop off and i'm delivering to the clark store you know the guys that make the uh clark shoes pickup is 2.3 miles away this guy's parked so flipping close to me dodgy parking all right let's head over to this pickup and uh get this next job time now is 11 16 the last clip was 10 43 so it wasn't a long wait about half an hour for the next job to come in there was one on the job board which was a rush job and i went to accept it and someone got there before me it was paying over 13 pound as well it was quite a, quite a nice order nice job sorry not order job but yeah someone got there before me too fast i was too slow <laughs> just noticed that my uh, microphone wasn't on in that last clip. Another job came in from Screwfix. How are you right? Yeah. Uh, thank you. And that one as well, yeah? Nice one. Thank you, mate. Bloody hell. How many screws is... How many screws are in here? <laughs> thousand. Thousand, yeah. Thank you, mate. Flipping out. It's a big box of screws. I didn't even know you could buy screws, boxes of screws like this. Flipping out. A thousand screws. Crazy. All right, let's head over to the next pickup, which is, lo and behold, another screw fix, which is 0.9 miles away. I can't believe all of my jobs are from screw fix today. This is going to be the screw fix episode. It will be nice to pick up some other places, but pick up from some other places, sorry. I just like how quick and efficient screw fix are. They don't mess around. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying this episode so far, people. If you are, then please leave a like on the video down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. My goal is to reach 200,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I can't do that without your help. Let's go get this next one. All right, at the next pickup. Do the quick check-in. Yeah, that's the one. All them ones as well. I've done the best I could. We've got no bags, nothing. No bags. That's all right. I'll do two trips. I'll come back for this one. No bags? What's going on? God, these are gonna go everywhere. Try and uh, stack them up as neatly as possible. Ooh. <sighs> Why are people ordering so many screws? <laughs> Bloody hundreds of screws now. All right, jobs are good then. Let's get on the road. All right, this first one is only five minutes away. 1.2 miles. God, it's crazy to think I've got about 2,000 screws in my back box right now. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my God, come on, people. Do we not know how roundabouts work? Well, this is a really close drop, actually. Only four minutes away, going up towards New Cross. At least this is the one that ain't in the bag, so we're able to get that out of the way. Because if it was the other one, we would be fumbling around and stuff will be going everywhere. Fuck bed. Bed. 
indicating for how long. God, that was a close call. Whew. See what I mean? You can never be too careful. I don't know where he was looking. All right, let's get some tunes on. Get up to the next one. Hello, hi mate, it's uh, your screw fix sprint delivery. It's taken me to the back, you know where uh, there's a, like a car park at the back? Okay, no problem. Uh, give, give me two minutes, I'll walk around. It's on the main road, yeah? It's not on the main road, it's uh, off the main road. So it's very confusing. That is a build. Oh, I can see the building site. Wait, that means I'll be able to go down this road here. Should be able to go down here. Building site, I can see it. Oh my God, look at this. Sh how does Screwfix not have bags? I'm on the main road. Yeah, I'm next to uh, I'm next to a site here. Um, yeah, mate. Wait for a delivery. Yes, nice one. It's cool. Your colleague just gone. <laughs> you got it. Nice one. Have a good day. All right, let's go over to the next delivery. Now I'm delivering to the clock store. What a bloody palaver, eh? Oh, there's another job. I believe that's another screw fix one. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, that's good. I'm at the next drop off now as well. But oh, damn, this bike bay is taken up. Oh, I forgot how heavy this box was. Yeah, a little bit of a walk to the uh, drop off just because I can't go down these roads here. It's all closed for cars and bikes. Only buses are allowed. And except for loading, but between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. And the time now is just gone midday, so yeah, if you go down there, you get a ticket. Here it is. Yeah, mate, screw fix delivery. Stick it here, yeah? Nice one. All right, that's that one done. Now I've got an empty box and another delivery to go and do. Where is this screw fix? Nine minutes away, 1.9 miles. Because like I said, after two, it does die down quite a bit. All right, here I am. Back up my favorite place. What am I picking up now? Oh, it's only two kilos. Probably something really small. Yeah, mate. Sprint pickup, 6329. Cheers, mate. Thank you. There's no worse feeling than stepping on the floor that someone's just mopped. Oh, God. I feel so guilty to do that. All right, this one's uh, quite a close drop, to be honest. Only 10 minutes away. Yeah, we've got some, some wood glue. Just a whole load of wood glue. Time now is 12.30. If it dies down, then uh, I'll probably finish a bit earlier because I think I've made some really good money today. Like I say, when I go out and do my deliveries, my target is between 50 and 70 pounds. As this is my side job, I have a full-time job. So obviously I have to be careful when it comes to how much I earn because of the tax brackets and stuff like that. Because everything I earn in my self-employment, I'm taxed at 20%. Don't wanna go into that tax bracket of a 40% tax, which is, is not nice. <laughs> no one wants to pay 40% tax, but obviously it's anything over 50,000 pound a year. It's kicking off, mate. <laughs> it's kicking off. The theme tune to London, Sirens. Yeah, this job wasn't due for delivery until about half one. So I'm an hour early. So I'm sure that the customer will be happy I'm delivering early. But yeah, it's been a good shift so far. I just, I love delivering for Gopher. Honestly, it's so much more enjoyable than delivering food, especially in the week. It's no, no long wait times. Everyone's happy. There's no like, no risk of spilling anything. You don't have to keep food hot. Not that any of those things are difficult. It's just, if you do this job, you know what I'm on about. All right, at my next drop off. I mean, screw fix print. Cheers, man. Thank you. Hey, we've got another job at last. £7.39. I know exactly where it's picking up from. I'm not even going to say where it's from. You already know where it's from. So this is possibly going to be my last delivery of the day, or this afternoon, should I say. And then I'll go through the earnings and tell you all how much money I have made. But a little fun fact, every job that I've done so far today has paid over seven pounds. Nothing has been under seven pound. Last pickup of the day. Nice one, cheers mate. Thank you. 10 minutes away. Hey, all of these screw fix deliveries are so close. All right, final drop off of the day. All right, screw fix. All right. 
Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. All right then, let's head over and see how much I've made. I'm yet to check. Hey, there we go. 58 pound and 83 pence. Every job paying over seven pound. 58 pound 83, that works out about 14 pound 70 an hour, which is pretty good. I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you have, like always, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I look forward to bringing you another episode very soon. Take care, people. Peace.